Water cycle is the process that involves the continuous circulation of water in the Earth atmosphere system. Water is always changing states between liquid, vapor, and ice. With these processes happening in the blink of an eye and over millions of years, Of the many processes involved in the water cycle, the most important ones are Number 1 Evaporation Number 2 Condensation Number 3 Precipitation Although the total amount of water within the cycle remains essentially constant, its distribution is continually changing. The water cycle is an extremely important process because it enables the availability of water for all living organisms and regulates weather patterns on our planet. If water didn't naturally recycle itself, we would run out of clean water which is essential to life liquid water evaporates into water vapor condenses to form clouds and precipitates back to earth in the form of rain and snow What is evaporation? Evaporation is one of the major processes in this cycle. Is the transfer of water from the surface of the Earth to the atmosphere. By evaporation, water in the liquid state is transferred to the gaseous or vapor state. The principal source of water vapor is the oceans. But evaporation also occurs in Soil Snow And ice Heat is necessary for evaporation to occur Heat energy is used to break the bonds that hold water molecules together. Which is why water easily evaporates at the boiling point, 100 degrees centigrade. But evaporates much more slowly at the freezing point. What is condensation? Condensation is the process of water vapor turning back into liquid water. With the best example being those big, fluffy clouds floating over your head. Condensation is crucial to the water cycle. Because it is responsible for the formation of clouds. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. These clouds cause precipitation, which is the primary route for water to return to the Earth's surface within the water cycle. What is precipitation? Precipitation is falling of water back onto the Earth. It may be in liquid form, rain, solid form, snow or hail, and in gaseous or vapor form, fog, or mist. In this way water continuously circulates around the Earth's surface.